Hey guys, it's Nesskingar GG. Um, this is just a small tutorial. Um, well, it's not a tutorial, it's a video on a helpful software that I use for EVE Online and planning your skill order, which will go rather well with my first video of how to use the skill system. Okay, first of all, the software is called EVEMON. It is, if you just go into Google, and type in Evemon, enter, and make sure that you go onto the Evemon forums, the Eve Online forums, sorry, the official forums, and it'll come up with something a little bit like this. So all you need to do is just click download, and then it'll start downloading. But obviously, I have it installed, so you just download that, install it. If you're on Firefox, it'll come up here, and then you just click on that, it'll open up the installer and install it and that is where you get evemon from okay so now that you've got evemon installed what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add your character in as i have got here for my one so to do that you will need to go into file add api keys and it's going to come up with this little box here asking you for an id and a verification code now your api key is your way that the software can know what your character currently has, what you're currently training, what you have already trained, stuff like that. And it's something that is run by Eve, obviously, an API key is produced by them. And then you just install it in here and it will link your account to Evemon. So to create an API key, you will need to go to, there is your API keys are available at and then there is this link, which is on the official EVE's website. So you just click that. It'll come here. And then you just go into login. And it will come up with this page. Okay, now this is the API key I am currently using for EVEMON. Which is how... I have, oh my god, which is how I have this character linked, which is my character. This key will be changing after this video, so don't worry. You're not going to be able to get my get access to anything of mine. This will be changing. Done. Okay, so to create a new API key, you'll have create new API key. Click on this, you call it whatever you want. So we'll just call it Evemon cut and then you want it on the character that you want so I want it on Iuna Fneskinga because that's my character on this account and then on here you have to select whatever you wanted to see Evemon is completely safe so do not worry you can literally just click all on all of these little things and it will work 100% remember to come up here and click no expiry and then you just click submit and as you can see it has generated a random key id with a verification code an access mask that's just the access mask saying that i have allowed it to access everything that is the same for everybody who just clicks what i just clicked on all of them so all you need to do is you take your key id and copy it so we'll do it that way and we go in here I closed it down, add API keys. So you add your ID in there. Then you want your verification code. Oh, your verification code. When my computer stops being silly. And you paste that in, you click next. And it'll come up with this page. You just click the characters that you want in. You check them. And you click import. And obviously, because I already have that account linked, it's here. So it'll then bring this up, and then you just click on that, and it'll come into here. Okay, so the main bit for this is to do with the skill training. So if you have a specific ship that you want to aim for, and you have or a specific item that you want to train for, or you've just, in general, got a plan, what we'll do is we'll create a new plan, Enter a name, Evemon Tut. So, randomly, we're just going to say, uh, once you create a plan, it'll come up with this. So, if you go into the ship browser, 
of doing this. So I think it's called the mower. We're just going to randomly create a, create a shape. So we've got the mower, which is this. It is a Caldari ship, I believe. Yep, it's a, it's a Caldari cruiser. So as you can see down here, it tells us what skills we're going to need, how long it's going to train us if we are an Omega clone. This is based off Omega times, not Alpha. If you are an Alpha clone this time, it will show this time, but you will have to double it. That is how long it will take you. This also does not take into account implants unless you specifically tell it to. But honestly, it, I, I just don't bother. Like it, It's mainly used for organizing yourself. So say we want to train for the mower. We click on this, go into mower, click it. And then it tells us all the skills, and then add all to plan. And then that's the that's a list of all the ship, all the skills that are going to be added into the plan. Click OK, and go into Plan Editor, and we can see all of these, all of these skills. And it'll tell us the individual times it'll take to train, based on being an Omega clone. Um, so yeah, so Ata Browser. We're now going to go in, and we are going to randomly put in a weapon so a 125mm auto oh, auto cannon when I can learn to spell okay so th this is just a random weapon it's probably not worth putting on there oh hang on I can't I've already trained for these so we'll put on neutron blaster cannon 2 so here we go. So here is all of the skills that I will need. You can open that up and then go down. So again, add all to plan. OK. Then go into the plan editor and you can see that it has added all of these new skills in for us, which are the skills that I will need to train to be able to use the Neutron Blaster Cannon. So what I can do now is if I randomly want to train stuff differently is I can just move it up. But one thing it won't let you do which is good, is it will not let you move medium hybrid turret above medium medium hybrid turret 3 in front of medium hybrid turret 1. Long, basically, it will not let you move a skill in front of another skill that you need to have already trained to train that skill. So obviously because I need all of these skills trained to train large blaster specialization, I cannot move this above any of these skills. It will just stay there. However, if I put that there, in there, because I do not need Caldari Cruiser 1 to train Large Blaster Specialization 1, I can move that above there, and it'll put Caldari Cruiser to the bottom. So that's just a handy way of, if you know what you want, if someone's giving you a fit, for instance, and you need to know how long it's going to take you to train up to get that, then you can come in, you can find them all in here, you can even just do it for certificates, so say we want all combat drones level 1, we can go plan to level 1, or we can right click plan to level 5, and again it will add all of the skills in that we are going to need. So it's just a handy little way for you to work out how you're going to, like, how you're going to start training your skills and in which order to do them in. And it can also help you plan which skill books you're going to need. So it's, it's just a handy little organization tool that I use. I mean, you can put in your implant calculation. This is correct for me. Okay, so it might actually take into consideration implants. I'm not entirely sure now. Because it didn't do that the first time I used it, so it must have been updated. But yeah, that is, that's, that's basically all I use on Evemon. I mean, you can even just go in resource processing and we want Crokite processing and it'll tell us what we need. Okay, so that's about it for this video. I shall see you later and I hope you found this video useful and I hope you find Evemon useful. Bye bye.